It was just overwhelming, you know. It was it was so exciting to see the big screen, to be sitting there next to, on the one side, Edith Boone, who is the subject of the film, the other side, my husband and daughter, and a whole 200-person theater filled with people that gave a standing ovation at the end. So it was very exciting. My name is Marlene Mo Morris. I go by Mo Morris, and I'm the director-producer of a film called A New Color, The Art of Being Edith Boone. My path is a bit circuitous. Um, I think that many people find their way to filmmaking through different paths. It's not always through a graduate program in a film school. In my case, I spent many years as an immigration lawyer, so that was my first career. I really enjoyed it. And I uh, was very involved with listening to people's stories and helping them advocate for themselves. And that was something that morphed into another very strong interest of mine, which was community mediation. I did that for a number of years, including directing a nonprofit mediation center. And that really drew on my, again, love for story. But in that case, it was helping people tell each other their stories and try to find common ground. Eventually, I started taking classes at, at Berkeley City College because I was interested in photography. I became interested in documentary filmmaking, just found that interest was sparked in me, never thinking that I'd become a documentary filmmaker. But the classes were great, the teachers were great, and I was inspired. I had known Edith Boone for 10 years at that point. She was the art teacher for my two children in elementary school. She had a, a kind of loving yet very proactive social justice impact on all the kids in the school. She had originated in Harlem. She's an African-American woman who's 77 years old now, but she had come from Harlem and had been in this area for 35 years at that point, and had just laid down deep roots and created so many powerful community projects with youth, in particular, creating change through art. I asked her, as part of one of my student projects, if she would sit for a short interview with me and if she would let me make a 10-minute documentary, which I did for my documentary production class. So at BCC, I really got the earliest feedback. Um, the first crews were all BCC students and felt like that critique was really invaluable in those early stages. And and then I left BCC and uh, stayed in touch with some of the teachers who were my mentors. And also along the way, they gave me some feedback. I felt that what I got at Berkeley City College was really a very hands-on approach to filmmaking. There was a very active working professional group of filmmakers associated with the Department of Multimedia, people that were making films in their in their lives um, and were adjunct teachers here, so brought with them all of their real life experience. So that's one of the things that I really appreciated. I also appreciated that, and this may be true of other film school experiences as well, when you work with a community of, of student filmmakers as crew for each other, there's a camaraderie and a community that exists that is unparalleled, and those are still some of the people that I call on when I'm doing a shoot and need some help or some advice or uh, some equipment, and it's proven to be a, a very helpful resource. For me, it was a, just a huge godsend that there was a resource in the community that I could start by taking a class here and there, get my feet wet, just really enrich my life with, with artistic endeavors that I didn't have any reason to believe would turn into a career, but as it, as I pursued it, I got more and more invested and more and more encouraged by staff, by the mentors here. I think nobody quite saw how it would develop when I was in the middle of the project, but now that it's in theaters and it's getting some recognition, I think they are like, wow, my mom's a filmmaker. <laughs> so I think it's, it's I feel good about modeling for them that, you know, one can make changes at any time in their lives and pursue things that they're passionate about and create beautiful artwork and things that have impact in the community.